uh, proud. I'm extremely proud of this entire organization from top to bottom. I think you saw uh, what this club is capable of. That group of men in there, I cannot speak highly enough of. Through all the adversity this season with injuries, red cards, I will say we talked about when we went down a man that in Birmingham, in San Diego, we have shown that even down a man, we can play to the level that we did. There are so many people that have a lot to be proud of tonight. And for me to be the manager, manager of this football club, I'll never forget this night. I thought they did settle down after that point. Um, listen, emotions are high. Of course, uh, these guys remember as much as I don't want them thinking about it. Last year, the year before, um, you know, we're, we, we don't ever want to go down a man in a game like that. But I will say with that group, I believed. I absolutely believed and I asked them to believe before the game and they, and they did that. I think especially when you go down a man, you could hear the, the, the urging on from the fans, the intensity from the fans, it lifted the players. We had guys that were fatigued. We had guys that worked their ass off all night. And again, I think uh, in this environment with this fan base, very difficult to lose a game at Lynn Family Stadium. And just how storybook to see Elijah being from here and being, you talk so much about the academy and homegrown products to be the one that puts you over the top. Yeah, I think, listen, he has been tremendous. He has worked his ass off to get to where he is right now. Um, he's shown uh, how effective he can be in these games that he's been, uh, that he's earned opportunities. For him to get that goal, for it to be a local academy product, for it to be the, the goal that clinches the Eastern Conference final, it speaks volume for what this club is, uh, is doing. I, I thought we were excellent in the first half. I thought we were fantastic. I thought we executed the game plan. I don't think we gave them a sniff other than maybe a couple services. I think they made some adjustments at half and then we had to feel our way back into the game. Um, we go down a man and these guys backs against the wall. Um, like I've said before, they've done it in numerous games this year. So there was 100% belief in my head. I honestly was waiting for a moment uh, and, and we took it. Yeah, I think, listen, I think it, the, the, the most special part was not that it was against Tampa, was that it was with this, in this environment, with these fans, with this club, with my players, my staff. I, I can't speak highly enough. You talk a lot about trophies and wanting to win one at that moment. As, as a new head coach, what did that mean to you? Uh, it, it was amazing. I think for me, um, I, I have spoke so highly of this group of men that I get to work with every day. Extremely thankful for how they come to work every day. Um, you know, and it's a lot. It's a lot on family. It's a lot uh, of time. But these are the moments that you reflect and go, this is, this is why we do what we do. Um, my wife and my son, I just have to say, I'm, I'm, my wife, Brittany, my son, Santiago, extremely thankful for their understanding, their support. Um, couldn't, couldn't be where we are right now without them. Um, but we, we still have a job to do. We have one more next week, um, and, and that's the goal now.